What's up guys, it's your boy Dali Amor And it's Ray Love And welcome back to Trends Talk Talent That's right, we are back with another video And this one is gonna be extremely special Because this is gonna be our first album review And if you probably guessed it The album we're gonna do is An Evening with Silk Sonic are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's press, press play. play. All right, so the next song on the album is Smoking Out the Window. Definitely heard this before, but I definitely wouldn't mind hearing it again. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even though we knew it was coming, it's still like <laughs> I wanted it to come though. Like that's the thing. Like I was like, yes, it's about to oh, he about to do goodness. it. He about to be himself right now. And I, I love that about him. I like, just know that Anderson wrote this this yeah. part. He he wrote it. Cause I don't think I've ever heard Bruno curse, to be honest. <sighs> I don't know if I've heard him curse, <laughs> but my thing is, I feel like people gravitate more to Anderson when he does yeah. stuff like that because it's kind of like, sometimes people are actually looking for music yeah. that's not so safe. Yeah. That's not so, oh, we're trying not to be, mm -hmm. you know, we're not, we don't want to use any type of profanity what? and like, some people just be like, no, I want the, I want rawness, mm -hmm. you know, like what you really want to say, mm -hmm. you know? You know, this song is just amazing. Like from the beginning of the intro, just to them, just the emotions are there. You know, I still gotta find out what they're talking about. Like we, we gotta, this album might be a dedication to former people in mm -hmm. their lives. You know, let's not throw it out the window. Right. <laughs> 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 if it's you, tweet something or whatever. Like, you know. <laughs> like, we need to know what happened because somebody out there, somebody out there knows. Mm -hmm. they they hearing the song right now and they're just like, uh-huh, that was me. I might be, you know, not rich and famous, but I did something. Did you see? Stick with your man. That's, that's what it shows you. <laughs> stick with your man. You know, whatever they going through, just stick with them because they could be doing this. Oh, this song is just a jam, man. <laughs> because they, they have like different ways that they make the chorus just sound different. Like you don't really expect it. Kind of could be off rhythm, but it just works. Like you didn't mm -hmm. expect, I didn't expect that chorus at first. Of course, now we know it, so we jam to it. But yeah. like they did a great job of like making it sound like one song, even though it sounds different. If you really like take a pocket out of it, that could be its own song. Then you take another pocket out of it, that could be another song. They meshed mm -hmm. it well together. Yeah. That's what's crazy to me. Yeah, and what I like a lot about this video is the swag aspect of mm -hmm. it. Like, they're so subtle in their movements and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like, if it was, like, if you was trying to find yourself and trying to, like, you know, figure out, like, a demeanor or something right. like that, like, you can take a lot from this. Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of like the way they, I mean, they jam it and they just, like, just swing their hands mm -hmm. or whatever like mm -hmm. that. And they're doing little movements mm -hmm. like this. It's like, you don't gotta be going crazy in the club right. or a party or whatever like right. that you know just be calm collected have a little bit of swag be like oh yeah if i'm a dance i'm just uh mm -hmm. uh you know and it's it's, it's received it's received okay. so yeah i like the swag another hit Ooh, just the other night she was gripping on me tight screaming Hercules. this bitch got me <laughs> This part will always, always be like the part that stands out no matter what. Because first of all, he's dramatic and then Bruno comes in with the, the emphasis again, mm -hmm. once again. We heard it before, but it just, it stands out. They yeah. knew what they was doing. And I think Anderson wrote this whole video too, because it just has his like aura all over it. Mm -hmm. The camera cuts, the angles, the, even the puffing of the cigarettes. This was him. This was mm -hmm. all his idea. All yeah. his idea. I can see it. Yeah, I feel like he was definitely a heavy right. influence on <laughs> on this particular song video because I mean, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> oh man, listen. They, you can't play every song on the radio, right? They need their own radio station. These two because we just want to hear this this album. So far we heard four songs now, I think. It's all hits. No, it might be five. It might be my, five. Whatever it is. <laughs> This is a hit after a hit after like not Ray really losing count. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> maybe I'm inhaling some of the smoke, you know, wow. it could be. But listen, they just doing it, man. 
they doing it. They, they're having fun with it once again. And the video is amazing for this song specifically because you can just see the fun in it. Of course, if you just heard it like an audio, it'd be like, okay, I hear this and I hear that, but you kind of want to see their expressions when they mm -hmm. say certain things and do certain things. And they nailed it every time. Like we can't say enough about this group. I don't know how they came together. We probably got to watch an interview to really see like, you know, what they said to each other and, mm -hmm. you know. I feel like the video, mm -hmm. if you don't see the video, if the person doesn't actually make a video, mm -hmm. it's kind of taken away because yeah. it's like, I want to see like what you're doing. I want to see what you would have, what your vision was mm -hmm. for a video. You mm -hmm. know, when people deprive you of a video, I feel like that's like, you know, you kind of like stepping on your own success right there. Cause it's like that, there's something to mm -hmm. see. Set up always, always. You know, I see Bruno what he's doing with his album right here. He's waiting. He's ending off each song right now with the falsetto or with something different. I see what you're doing. You're trying to leave us with something, you know, to be like, well, okay, now we're going, you know what I mean? You're trying to get us stumped. You're trying to get us stay in the tune to be like, okay, we got to hear the whole song out to hear what Bruno going to do at the end. Mm -hmm. I see what you're doing. You ain't fooling nobody. Yeah. You ain't fooling nobody. I'm catching on to you. Yes. You know, if I really wanted to, I just fast forward. But we won't do that. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> he ain't about to do that. <laughs> Another hit. What what can we say? What can we really say? Smoking out the window, the song title alone is gonna be enough to just intrigue you and to be like, hey, what's that song about? Mm -hmm. Because when we first saw it, we literally said we had no idea what the song yeah. was about. Like smoking out the window, I don't know where they were going with this. Because a lot of times I see titles and stuff and I'm mm -hmm. like, well when did they actually say it? Like right. when did they Exactly like, like in how your is mind, this relevant? In your mind you're trying to get the hook <laughs> or the chorus, but with yeah, but this one I had no idea. Like how is this relevant? Right. Like, I don't get it. Listen, they did that and smoking out the window. That was the next song on the album. We're gonna move right along to the next one. Let's see what they got here. Next song is called Put On A Smile. Ooh. 